Hello guys, and welcome back to another cold episode. On today's episode, we are here to talk about specifically the forbidden and limited list and skill balance that is coming to Duel Links uh, in uh, March 9th. Um, yeah, let's just jump into this. This is my reaction. Not a first time. I, I already know everything uh, that's here, but I do want to quickly, quickly... Uh, talk about it because it's it's pretty short when it comes to the forbidden and limited list first of all bamboo scrap Limited to one. It's a degenerate card. I'm surprised. Uh, there was another card abyss uh, Abyss scorn um, Is also not on here kind of depressing But uh, a lot of like the degenerate cards that kind of do gross or unfun things tend to be limited Bamboo Scrap is right there. Uh, it gives your opponent two, two uh, tokens that you can't really use. Um, so, that's why it's on there. That's the only big reason for it. Like, you can't, it can't be used in XZs, so there you go. Pretty simple. Uh, moving on to the limited two. This is a very quick forbidden and limited list. Uh, so, yeah. It's mostly about the skill balance. Misjudge and head judging to two. They really want to nerf Desperado. It's been prominent for quite some time. This is a great way to do it. Uh, in all honesty, they probably should just get rid of Cup of Ace, seeing as how that's the problem card in Desperado. Uh, but limiting it to two means that most likely people won't be playing Misjudge, and of course they won't be playing head judging, which is great. Uh, that's phenomenal. Head judging is a terrible card, and the fact that a top tier deck like Desperado can use it, it's great that it's gone. Uh, realistically, other decks can still play it, but seeing it go, that's fine. It's also a free to play card, so getting rid of it doesn't feel bad. Uh, Misjudge, on the other hand, uh, isn't. Uh, sorry, Misjudge, I still think is a good card, and. It will probably, as the, as it says right here, they don't want it to be played alongside Cup of Ace. But the thing is, I think realistically, you should still be playing the one misjudge and just cutting down the amount of Cup of Ace. Because if you're playing Desperado, misjudge is incredibly useful. It allows you uh, to use the skill with better cards. Uh, you know, you're still playing the one Cup of Ace, you're still playing the one Misjudge, so that's two different cards uh, for the skill requirement, which is phenomenal. You definitely want that. Um, and overall, I think that Misjudge is such a good card since it can be searched off of uh, Desperado. So I think you should probably still be playing it at one with the one and one of this and Cup of Ace, but it's, it's a huge hit. So, Desperado, probably going to go down in prevalence, um, but we'll see. Then we have the dumbest thing to do in terms of balance, but as a company that Konami is, it's a great move. Amazonus Onslaught. They want to move Amazonus up, uh, so they're putting it to three, so that it can't be used alongside something like Invoked uh, or, more specifically, Cosmic Cyclone. Uh, but, in the latest box, if you don't already know, MST, Mystical Space Typhoon, which is a quick of, uh, a quick play card, that is, or a quick play spell, that destroys a spell or trap. That's it. It's just, target, target a spell or trap, destroy it. Um, so, they want to sell that. So they're going to give you uh, a reason to purchase the card. In Amazonas Onslaught. This card is disgusting. I hate it. It's very bad. It's just a very bad card. They say the limitation to this card will be eased due to the power level uh, or its power level being acceptable in the current metagame. No. It's a bad card. It's just bad. Um, <laughs> because it is one, searchable, and two, it does weird shenanigans and it banishes so 
I don't like the card. I think that it's very similar to something like Head Judging, where honestly, it's just a bad card. Um, but Amazonas is a... I mean, it's a deck that has been on the limited list for quite some time. But for some reason, Cyber Angel, no, no. Can't touch that. As you can see, there will be uh, nothing else coming off of the list other than Rose Lover here, which is fine. It, I mean... What, now you can play Sylvans more effectively? Great. This doesn't do anything. But, um, it's nice. It, it's there. Amazon is Onslaught, though. It's dumb. I don't think it needed to come off. So, yeah, that's it. That's the entire list. Now, real quick, let's check out the, um, the skill balance. Uh, I went to the wrong one. Sorry. So, real quick, what are they hitting? They are... Changing the skills for Transcendent Crystals, Iron Call, Cubic Seeds, Master of Destiny, which we mentioned previously, the skill for Desperado, and what makes the deck insanely powerful, uh, What Grows in the Graveyard, See You Later, Balance, Restart, Spell Specialist, Trap Layer, My Monster Cards, and a Heavy Starter. Now, here's the thing. My Monster Cards uh, probably didn't deserve this, but I totally understand it. Um, they're hitting a lot of these skills. Um... These ones in particular, Restart, Spell Specialist, Trap Layer, My Monster Cards, and Heavy Starter, are all being hit in case of them being overpowered with another deck. And I think this is a really great thing to do for Dual Links, because oftentimes the, the skills tend to be the problems with the decks. So, hitting a lot of these skills is going to be good. It allows for more diversity in skills, and it pushes people more towards uh, archetypal skills, things like fortune, or yeah, things like fortune ladies using time passage, things like uh, onomat using onomata play, things like photons using their uh, what is it, photon charge or something? I don't remember the photon skill. Uh, all of that's really good. I like that they're hitting a lot of these generic skills. Um, I think the next one that will probably be hit is something like uh, Draw Sense Speller Trap. It's just ripe for abuse. Uh, Dark Lords have already shown that they're already using it. Already, already. Uh, Dark Lords have already shown that it is powerful with them, so there's that. But overall, I like that they're focusing on the skills and hitting the skills and saying that Maybe if we just release some better cards, that the metagame will kind of evolve around that. And there currently isn't anything that's really terrible to play against other than Hey Trunade and getting sacked by that or something like Treacherous Trap Hole. But they're never going to hit that. I don't know why. I don't know why it's not to one or banned. Both of those cards. That was on my wish list if you didn't watch my stream. Um... Go watch my stream where I talked about the ban list. Uh, and I talked about my wish list. So there's that. Anyway, let's move on to this. Um, the updated skills, Transcendent Crystals, got a minor buff. Uh, now it's just easier to use. Iron Call, doesn't matter, it got a buff. Uh, Cubic Seed, doesn't matter, it also got a buff. Now you can actually use uh, spells and traps in it that aren't cubic cards, uh, but only six or less. So you can't just put in 19,000 traps and call it a deck. Uh, Master of Destiny, this is the big one. When you toss a coin, the result will be heads for the first three. Toin co coin tosses, toin tosses, yes, words are hard. But you skip your first normal draw. So you skip your normal draw. And then the activation requirement is the same. I thought that how they would nerf this is just make it so that you had to have a certain number of Arcana Force cards in the deck, or reduce the amount of coin tosses that are guaranteed. They decided not to do that. Um, skipping the normal draw phase is kind of weird, but at least it's a nerf to Master of Destiny. I think realistically, the fact that you are guaranteed the coin tosses is the issue, but hey, whatever. Uh, what grows in the graveyard? 
I can totally see why they're hitting this. They're giving us new plant support in the newest box. Uh, and this is a really good skill just in general. So, uh, now you have to have pay or you have to be down 1500 life points, not even a thousand, but 1500, then you can activate the skill. Uh, so basically the skill is dead. It's easier just to mill it with something like charge of the light brigade or the myriad of other mill cards that there are. Uh, just mill a Dark Verger and then go into your plays. So, yeah, there's that. See you later. Also got a nerf. Same activation requirement. Can be used when your life points decrease by 1,500. It's a interesting hit. Uh, that definitely nerfs a lot of decks that were previously using it. Ritual Beasts were using it as well. But the thing is, it wasn't necessarily anything degenerate. So, I don't necessarily... I understand the hit, uh, it was ripe for abuse, given the fact that literally you could just activate it at any time, uh, very similar to Sealed Tombs, except Sealed Tombs actually got to see its own meta relevancy and basically why it was so prevalent, um, and I think See You Later was right about to be there, but wasn't quite, uh, and so they hit it a, a little quickly, they saw that, oh, you know, Valhalla Calling with the, uh, Star Seraph combo, that's pretty insane. We don't want that to happen again. So we're gonna we're gonna keep it under wraps by making See You Later cost 1,500 uh, so that even one proc of a Dark Lord uh, or one Cosmic Cyclone doesn't activate it as well. Also, they also want to sell MST also also. Uh, and in order to do that, they need to prevent you from just using Cosmic Cyclone instead. So, yeah. 1500 makes sense for both of those. Balance! Has a new clause along with all of these other skills. This new clause is you cannot special summon or activate monster effects until the end of the main phase of your first turn. Meaning, your first turn, you can't do anything. There you go. That's it. Awesome. That's a huge hit to specifically Noble Knights and nothing else. Triomids, they're fine. Auro Mages, they're fine. Which means I'm a sad boy. But all in all, I think that's a the it's a great nerf. They still want to keep the skill around, but they want to also nerf it so that Noble Knights as well as other decks in particular that like to use uh balance or spell specialist or restart or stuff like that are nerfed and aren't you know heavily guaranteed their uh, good starting hand uh, like it was with Karakuri more recently uh, as well as Noble Knights right now so great nerfs I think overall this is moving in the right direction for Konami um, and I'm happy with overall the ban list I think there's a few things that's just like, okay, that's just Konami wanting to sell the new product, which as a company, they are wont to do. But overall, I'm happy with the ban list. I'm happy with the skill nerfs. Uh, and yeah, that's it. That's all I have to say. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys did indeed enjoy. If you did, a like is very much so appreciated. And if you want to check out more content like this, as well as more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, then just be sure to subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember to always... Stay frosty. Bye-bye.